All right. Still can't get that Twitter thing to work. Okay. From the replay, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining my scope. And let's see if it's come on in. And there we go. Different location today. Thanks for coming in. Welcome. And whoops. Attempting to get my tripod to work properly. These magnetic ones, I like them for the convenience, but sometimes they're a bit off. All right. Thanks for coming in. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Sage Critic, good to see you, my friend. All right. Collier, nice to have you here. Um, nice to have you here, too, from the uh, Global Meditation Scope. Marlene, welcome. Nice to have you here. Hey, Jennifer, good to see you as well. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining my scope. Steph with an F. Good to see my love. So you and your mum are both here. That's awesome. Make sure you please share this out to Periscope and to Twitter and to Facebook and share this out wide and far and wide. I get to bring, bring home the bacon, as it were. I, I sort of bring the end of the... Whoops, trying to hide the logo. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Jermaine, good to have you here. It's nice to see you. Um, I love seeing all the folks here. I just got on the Periscope right in the middle of the last scope, Cordelia scope, so I didn't actually see everything else. Bacon with the farmer's market, right? You, <laughs> as she was talking about. So nice to see you. Welcome to uh, Perry 10K Sherathon completion, or the ending, wrapping it up as I'm bringing it home, as it's saying. Um... My name is Barry Selby, and I put in the, in the title of my scope, my website, and uh, my branding um, because I want to talk about. So if you haven't already followed the previous scopes, and I missed a bunch of them, so my comments might be repeat, repeats, but it might be new as well. We'll see what happens. Well, nice to, ca nice to be caught. Thanks for catching me, coaching for, coaching for life. Who are you? Just have any names I can call you. Laura, nice to meet you. Thanks for joining my scope. Um, this is... Yes, <laughs> I got you right there. Um, I am a passionate periscoper and, and love talking about the good stuff on periscopes. I talk about love and relationships all the time. That's my work. And I'll talk about the branding piece in a moment. But first, Perry 10K. This is a collaborative group of powerful speakers, guides, coaches, and enthusiastic souls who want to put the word out about love, life, and joy, and make a difference. If you're interested in that, you go to perry10k.com slash join and find out more about us and sign up if you want to become a member and a speaker and you join in our Sherathons. We do the Sherathons every day of the week. Um, they vary in size, but usually they're a two-hour window, Monday through Friday, from 1 p.m. Pacific, because I'm in Pacific time zone, to 3 p.m. Um, but today we did, tomorrow, today and tomorrow, we're trying to experiment. The 2 p.m. Pacific time shift has been moved to equivalent of 6 a.m. my time, which one, I'm not going to be on it, I won't be awake, um, because that's going to help the people in England on the East Coast. So... Um, it's definitely interesting to come play with us and watch us. But we do a scope pretty much 1 p.m. every day, no matter what, Pacific time, which is 4 p.m. East Coast time and 9 p.m. UK time. So let's get into this, shall we? Thanks for coming in. By the way, if you just joined me, thanks for joining my scope. And please make sure you share this out on Twitter, Periscope, Facebook. Tap the screen for hearts and feel free to in comments and posts in the scope. Actually, I can move this down a bit because I don't need to be that far down in the screen. That's a bit better. Although now I've got to... Stop looking so washed out. My camera's reacting to stuff and it's getting... All right, it'll do what it does. So, getting to the uh, topic at hand. Why bother branding? Yeah, Stephanie's got some shorthand. A friend of mine does this too. Um, they post that they have shortcuts in their phone for different statements. They just copy and paste them or type them in and they show up. So that's a little behind the scenes secret for those of you who want to do that stuff like that. So... <laughs> <laughs> the radio voice. Thank you for that, Laura. So, getting on on track. Why bother branding? Well, have you ever heard of a life coach? And do you know 17,000 of them? Because I do. Well, not that many, but a lot of them. The, the, the weakness of being a life coach, and I'm using that as an example because I'm in the coaching industry, and I, even though I hate the term coach, that's what I'm involved with, is such a generic title. It doesn't make you unique. In fact, it makes everybody the same. It's like everyone's going to have a black model T Ford, which was the first car. In fact, let me just back up and explain it for a second. Put what I said to the side. So I need to recap. Because I don't have a script. I'm just coming through what comes through me when I talk about these things. If you know the story of Henry Ford and the Model T, that was the first mass-produced car ever built. And back in 19, whatever it was, 14, I think it was, or 04, I think when it first came out, um, a lot, a lot I know, I've always thought about it, yeah. Well, basically what happened was, is when Henry Ford brought the Model T Ford, he realized that for mass production, it was easier and more ability to produce more cars, he made them one color, so he made them black. And so his marketing was, 
You can have any color model T you want as long as it's black. The problem with that is everybody's car was a black model T Ford because it was mass produced. So the other cars were, were custom, were, were a coach built, hand built, and took a long time. So the Model T was the most popular car around. This is way before the Volkswagen Beetle, which overtook it later on in the, third, in the 30s. But the thing about it was, is that when you drove a car, you didn't stand out from other cars. Now you look at what happens nowadays, where there's so many different brands of cars, styles of cars, shapes of cars, sizes of cars, colors of cars, performance of cars. You get my point. There's a lot of diversity. And what happens is, a lot of people now live in LA, which is one of the capitals for cars. A lot of people drive cars in Los Angeles as a statement of who they are. They don't just get a generic car unless they're part of a company car model. But if you buy your own car, you tend to buy a car you want to have. It's a valuable car. My God, is that Garth Dalekan showing up in my scope? I haven't seen that boy for a long time. Good to see you, my brother. Um, and so people have cars to, a lot of times to identify who they are. And I'm doing very well, so good to hear from you. Good to see you, my scope. This was one of those things where people didn't realize they were actually branding, or should say choosing a brand based on what they liked. So car manufacturers appeal to that by selling their brand. Um, you know, there's a, there's a song, because a friend of mine wrote this song. If you remember, some of you may be too young for this, but if you remember a, a, a um, um, jingle for a, this is an American jingle, for the American English, you wouldn't understand those one necessarily. It was a jingle, if you remember, for the Ford Motor Company, back in probably the 80s and 90s. It's still around every so often you hear it. But if you can remember the, 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 the um, lyric for that jingle for the Fords, it was the identification that made them unique. It made them stand out. It was their branding, basically. So if you have, wow, nine minutes, time flies, you're having fun. I'll just say it for you. Exactly, there you are, Mike. Mike knows it. Have you driven a Ford lately? That was their marketing. It was their branding. And everybody knew a Ford by that thing. And they, in the song, it'd be like, have you driven a Ford lately? That was the phrase. And you knew the song. My friend, actually, I know him well, he's a personal friend of mine, wrote that song, that, that jingle. And he's made millions, literally. He's lived off it for 20, 30 years. It's insane. But that's not the point. The point is about the branding. And so there are different brands, and I'm using cars as a model to teach this, that, your know, history of advertising, right? You can study that stuff, couldn't you, Laura? But that's what branding's about. Nike has a very famous branding. Besides the swoosh, their logo, they also have a branding which is just do it. Exactly, Steph. That's branding. That's marketing. It's how to label yourself to make you unique because Nike is one of 30, 40 different um, sportswear manufacturers like Adidas, like Brooks, like, you know, all these different companies. So that was Paul Hoffman, yes. <laughs> Paul Hoffman's a friend of mine. Oh, you didn't know Mike, you knew him. Actually, you might know him through Speaker Association and stuff. Yes, that is Paul Hoffman, who did just, Have You Driven Afford Lately? Yes, he's a buddy of mine. Um, small world we live in, isn't it? I love this stuff. So that's what the challenge of branding is, how to make yourself unique and stand out from the crowd. So in my case, I'm a relationship teacher, guide, and expert. I don't like the word relationship coach. It sounds too flat. Oh, he's been a one of summits most. Yeah, he's getting out there. He's a busy boy. Yes, I love it. When jingles were in. Yeah, well, there's still jingles around nowadays. You, there are jingles if you look on, if you watch TV commercials, which you don't really do, but they're on YouTube now. They put them into Facebook ads and stuff. They show up everywhere. You can see these things. So they should have more today. Yeah, they really do. Um, now, actually, it's more personality styles, to be honest, is what they do. Anyway, get back on track. My scope, my, my language. <laughs> Exactly, no BS in Barry Silver. Thank you for that. This is my very, that could be branding right there. Hmm, I like that. <laughs> so, give me half of a jungle, a jingle. I did, you missed it. You got to point, go back and watch the replay. I'm sorry, I'm going back again. We passed on from that. Moving on to the next piece. I live in Los Angeles, as I mentioned, and I'm around probably 35, 40 different relationship experts that I get to meet up with once every few months as a, like a, a hangout when we just get together. And we're all, we're all in the same arena. Now, this is a very small niche, which is relationship coaching. But even with that arena, we're all unique, all different. One of my friends who's in that arena, Carol Allen, she is a um, Ayurvedic astrological coach. Or I should say, uh, no, she's a, she, she does astrological love coaching. And she's unique. Nobody else does that. And she has a massive following because of that. Um, who else do I know in the business? Well, Ariel Ford, who I know as well, who lives in San Diego, actually Ojai, um, La Jolla, she is the soulmate expert. That's her branding. Another friend of mine, if you ever heard of Calling in the One, that's a book written probably 10 years ago now by another friend of mine, um, Catherine Wilbur, Catherine Wilbur uh, 
had him with a Thomas. Catherine, yeah. She wrote the book Calling in the One. That was her branding. And that was powerful. My work is in relationship coaching, but my branding, actually, to be honest, has shifted. I'm known as the love doctor to many of my clients and my friends on Periscope and other places too, because that's how people identify me, because that's what I'm about. Donna, nice to have you in the scope. Yeah, uniqueness, that's the thing, Laura. Branding's about being unique, and that's the biggest piece of this work I want to talk to you. How much older can you date? That really is a really relative, relative. <laughs> Stephanie book throwing out the one. Actually, Mike, Catherine's new book is called Conscious Uncoupling, which is another brand right there. Um, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow used it, I think, in one of her recent, when, after her last breakup, I think. Anyway, getting back on track. Fifty Shades of Black. Well, <laughs> my book is Fifty Ways to Love Your Lover. And that came from Paul Simon's song, Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover. So I decided to make, you know, rewrite the damage. So I did the scope that way and did my book that way. So my book, um, Fifty Ways to... Oh, can I get to it? Sorry, I'm going to reach down. I have it down in my bag right here. See? That's branding as well. Fifty Ways to Love Your Lover. So there is... Yes, and that came because of Paul Simon's song. So my book. So yeah. So I talk, I talk about relationships, love, and, and that. But I'm also very passionate. Part of my message nowadays... The, right, that's good branding too. Yes, 50 ways to love your liver. That's, <laughs> I love that. That's good. Hey, somebody should grab that. If you've got, you've got a domain, grab it and market it. You can make money on that one. That's so good. I like it. Not my work though, so I won't do it. That was fun. I like that, Mike. Um, but I'm not just a relationship coach. The branding I use currently and the way I explain what I do is my what do you do statement. I actually call my snap statements. One of my mastermind buddies called it. Is I help strong, successful women stop shortchanging their love life. And I leave it like that. And there's people who go, what? Huh? How? Because I just say relationship coach. People go, so what? It doesn't, what does that mean? You work with couples? You're a therapist? It's not clear enough. But by saying what I do as a means of branding myself, people know what I'm about. I help strong, successful women stop shortchanging their love life. Now, for most of you, they go, I know what that means. In fact, I know who'd be a good client. Or you might be a good client. Exactly. Short, to the point, specific and short. I, I do work with other people too. Crazy Brants. <laughs> I missed the end. Yeah, that was too early in the morning for me. Sorry, it was 6 a.m. I wasn't up that early. Um, the, the thing is that, that in a way, what I need to do is be very specific in who I work with, but I, I can accept people who want to work with me who aren't in that arena. So I do work with couples once in a while. I do work with men once in a while. But my primary aim, my, fo my focus of my branding is towards the women who want really to change their love life because they've been making mistakes in the past. They want to change that. And that's my strength. So it makes sense to market and brand to that audience in a way that lands. So branding is important. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Exactly. That's what I do. And I don't do it by coaching. I do it. It's a blend of counseling, coaching, guidance, facilitation, leadership, um, and everything else too. So that's the thing is that being a coach is a, is a brand that can be limiting too because I'm not a coach. And that's another thing. You've got to be careful you don't get locked into a brand that isn't yours. So it's important to discover what your natural gifts are, your real languaging is, and where you shine most powerfully. Because when you do that, people find you. Exactly, it's too general. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Stephanie, you can type in everything. I love it. And that's really part of the work I do. A coach potato. <laughs> Anyone know the names you've worked with? Well, I've been on summits with major players in the arena. I mean, I've worked, studied with David Data, Alison Armstrong, Ariel Ford, Satyan Raja, Suzanne Raja, John Gray. That's a few people. I haven't, I've not, I've been on, actually I've been on uh, summits with them as equals, but I haven't, they've not been my clients, no. Um, because I've studied a lot of work over the last 30 plus years that really synthesizes into what I do and teach. So, you know, it's important. Yeah, well, I'm glad to help you, Laura. What I'm listening to, I'm listening to, I'm, I'm talking to you. This is the microphone because there's a background fan going on. I'm trying to cut down the noise. One minute. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm wrapping up. Nobody's coming after me. So I have a master's degree. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a legal doctor. I'm known as a love doctor affectionately. In fact, I do a scope every week and you can actually catch up. I'm done one this week. We do one Sunday and then last three, four weeks where the doctors are in. My friend is a PhD doctorate and I'm a, I'm a doctor by um, affiliation. So, yes. Well, thank you. Yeah, a lot of stuff I've been doing. No, I wasn't listening to music while I'm scoping. No, this is because the microphone bit here is much better than the microphone on the phone to hear things that pick up background noise. So that's why I do that. So I'm wrapping this up. Um, yes, if you haven't already followed me, thank you for that, Mr. Cryptic. If you haven't yet followed me on Periscope, make sure you're doing that. I do do broadcasts pretty much every day. This week's been very messy for me time-wise. I've not been able to scope very much. 
Um, I did one uh, part of the Global Meditation some Scope on Tuesday, and I did a scope on Parachute TV on Sunday, but I haven't done any of my scopes this week. It's been a really weird week, but I'll get back onto it this week. So um, with that having been said, you need, if you're out in the marketplace being visible, you need a brand that makes you unique, that stands out from the people, so you can really, awesome, glad you're following. Um, you get some stuff. And by the way, you follow my archives, you go to catch.me, K-A-T-C-H dot M-E, forward slash Barry Selby. There's a ton of content out there too. So yes, shout out to everybody who's on the Periscope Summit today. Thank you. Sorry, share on not Summit. Interesting. Thanks for everybody. Thank you, Stephanie, for the link. That's catch.me slash Barry Selby. If you're looking for love in the wrong places, you want help in looking in the right places. That's my expertise. Um, and as I say in my scope usually, love yourself more today than you did yesterday. It will change your world. That's about it, I think. Thanks for watching us. Per 10 k is where you find out more about our group. And barrysober.com is about my, si my stuff too. All right? I think I'm signing off because I've done my time. It was past time. All right, folks? Thank you, Donna, for that. Great scopes. Take care of yourself. Donna's put all the links up. I love it. That's my book. This book. And uh, I'm signing off. Thanks for watching my scope. And I'll see you in Periscope probably tomorrow. Have fun with yourselves. See ya. Bye.